So in this video, we'll talk about the best ways to speed up your immigration case. I know a lot of you are waiting for months and months and sometimes years to get some results. And so in this video, I'll give you the best ways that we've been using in our office to make sure that our cases are always moving ahead faster. And as we come to the end of the year, it'll be helpful to get those tips because they're gonna be relevant as well in 2022. So what are you waiting for? I'll see you on the other side. Hello everybody and welcome back to Immigration Channel. This is a place where you get the most up-to-date immigration news, immigration information, everything else that you need to make your immigration journey less stressful. My name is Jacob Sapochnik and I'm an immigration attorney located in San Diego, California. I help clients in all 50 states. And one of the most important questions that I get very often is, how do we speed up the processing of the case? Why is it taking so long? I don't know what to do anymore. So, in this video, I'll tell you what we do, what is important to do to make sure your case can move faster. But before that, I'm gonna show you how do we actually check on the processing of your case? How do you know how long it's gonna take? So if you look right here, you can see that this is the website of the UCIS processing times, and we'll link it also in the description of this video. And you can see, for example, we'll take, let's say, form I-751, application to remove conditions. This one has been taking a long time, depending on where you file it. So let's, for example, let's choose the California Service Center. So if you can see here, we choose the form, we choose the service center, then you click go, and then it will show you how long it's taking to process this form at your service center. You can do the same depending on where you are. If you're in, in Texas, Vermont, um, this, is a, this is an application that's taking a long time. They say seven to 22 months. In reality, it's close to 20 months for a lot of our clients. Sometimes a little bit faster, but the point is that the processing time will differ depending on which service center you are located at. And so obviously that we can't really change. But once they actually get to your case, if you're not doing the right things, your case can get delayed even further. So let's jump right into the tips. Make sure you watch this video all the way until the end. I'm gonna give you all the best tips that we use in our office to speed up our cases, to make sure that they don't get stuck and move along smoothly in the process. So, so the first thing you wanna do is before you file any application, make sure you check your application, check your forms, make sure you have the correct filing fees and include all the evidence, everything you need to submit you. If you file a 751, make sure you have all the evidence, the affidavits. If you file a marriage case, I-130, 45, make sure you have all the evidence. Include even more than you need because what you want to do is you want to make sure you avoid a request for evidence. If you file your case and they send it back to you because you have the wrong fee or because uh, your financial documents are not in, in order, you receive a request for evidence. That's going to add six months, sometimes a year more to your case. If you can file your case correctly, if you check the documents, if you make sure that the filing fee is correct, the forms are signed, all the exhibits are there, you include everything they need on the first time, your case will move along smoothly, it will not be stuck with a request for evidence, and that will save you a lot of time. We can't really change the processing time that immigration report, but what we can do is we can make sure that application is not gonna get delayed even further. So number one tip, make sure you check all your documents, all your forms, and include all the evidence you need from the beginning of the file to avoid a request for evidence. Number two, pay for premium processing. If your application qualifies for premium processing, like if it's a work visa or certain green cards qualify for premium processing, use that option because when you file premium processing, not only your case will get processed faster, but also if there's a problem in your case, you'll be able to handle it, you'll be able to deal with it sooner than waiting for six, 10, even a year before they get to your case and then you realize that you know you need more information and then your case will, will be there even further. So if your application qualifies for premium processing, use it. In a previous video, I reported a final rule that is currently pending with the government. The rule will expand premium processing to even more applications, to work permits, to change of status from tourist visas to other, to other applications. Once that rule becomes final, make sure you take advantage of the expansion of the premium processing to speed up the processing of your case. Number three, make an inquiry, a service request with UCIS. Sometimes you file your case and it's beyond processing times. Maybe something happened, maybe they lost your file. Maybe your application is being updated incorrectly in the system. If you realize your application is outside of regular processing times, and again, you can see, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I showed you how to check the processing of your case. So if your case is outside of those normal processing times, you have to make a service inquiry um, sometimes you have to use the Ombudsman's office, which is, another, uh, which is another unit that works with UCIS to help you process your case and speed up your case. You have to be proactive. 
check on the status of your case every month. If you're outside of normal processing, file a service request, make an inquiry to see what's going on with your case. If you're not going to be proactive, if you're not going to care about your case, there's no reason why immigration would. Number four, request the immigration to expedite your case. Sometimes we file for a work permit or any other or travel document. We need this immediately. We need to travel, we need to work. So you have to try to file a request to expedite your case. You can use this based on different reasons. For example, severe financial loss to a company or person. If you're not going to get your work permit, you're not going to be able to take that role of a manager or a senior engineer, your company will suffer financial loss as a result of that. You're going to use that company, put all the evidence to show that that's the case and file a request to expedite with UCIS. You'll be surprised it can work. Maybe there's an urgent humanitarian reason. Somebody is ill or is dying, God forbid. You can ask for an expedited request to push your case even further. Maybe there was an error on the part of UCIS. They made an error in your case. And because of that error, now everything is back to square one. You can file a request to expedite or for review for them to be able to see it and put your case back on track. Make sure you take advantage of these tools and be proactive, that's important. And finally, if everything else fails, you can try to contact your US local representative, congressman's office. They all have an immigration liaison that is very helpful in most cases to try to figure out what's going on with your case and see where it's stuck. We've been working with quite a few of these representatives and in many cases we definitely found ways to uh, push the cases and find a way why it's stuck. So make sure you take advantage of all these opportunities and, and most importantly stay positive. I know there's backlogs, we know there's a lot of delays, they're doing their best to, uh, to work the system and, but it's important for you guys to stay proactive and not just sit and wait. So hopefully this video was helpful. As we move through 2022, we hope to see that UCIS will speed up their processing even further and I'll be able to provide you even better news. Once again, if you're here for the first time, click the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos, subscribe to our channel, and also give us a big like so YouTube will be able to share this video with more people just like you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in our next video.